Fish on, boys and girls, fish on. I caught one. All this water is pretty clear here. Basically, these fish are kind of swimming upstream and staying away from me, so I might catch one here and get lucky. For the most part, though, I don't think it's going to happen through here. I caught like a, a branch and a, possibly a fishing line. I did. Here's a vine. Sure. Check it out. I caught somebody's fishing line. All right, what do we got here? It's right too muddy. They didn't want to come out here and get it. See what we got. Smart line. I'm not going to follow it out in the mud here, but I'm going to pull it and see where it goes. See if anything goes anywhere. Wherever it's at here. It's coming in. Fishing line Palooza. Yep, somebody don't want to clean up their mess. All right, there you go. If you lose fishing line in these streams, just pick it up. This is a public area, so I expect a, nothing less than stuff like this, but I'm going to put it in my pocket and take it home with me, apparently. Jeez, I caught it on my... That's the first thing I caught today on that black and gold spinner, I tell you that. This public area really kind of stinks. Many, many minutes later. All right, feet are stuck in the mud. Holy Toledo, that was hard. I felt like my calf muscle was going to just... Going to having a Charlie horse. I mean, stuck in that mud and trying to move around, trying to get that lure fixed. I switched out to a little teeny meanie gold. This thing's got a 316 ounce lure body, number six hook, and a tiny little number two blade on there, which is tiny. I'd be happy with a small guy. Who cares? Fish is a fish right now. Let's catch one. Yeah, I ain't gonna catch him. Ain't nothing gonna bite on anything I'm throwing because this is like too purse, too public. I gotta get out of here. I just walk back downstream here, I think. Head back to the car. Fish on, boys and girls, fish on. I caught one. I can't believe I actually caught a fish finally. I've been here forever. Walking down here, and I caught one. Check him out. Well, he felt bigger than he was for sure there. I don't know what that was all about. He felt like he was a, like a real big fish. Jeez, guys, I walked. I walked a long ways just to catch this one guy here. But I guess it's worth it. Hey, one guy is better than zero. All right, so we got to get this fishing pole thing figured out here so we don't bound ourselves up. Uh oh, fish almost got off. All right, we got to figure this thing out. This fishing pole deal is not working. All right, guys, there we go. Single gold. Bottom hook, bottom lip, I mean. Two seconds, he's out. He's grunting, he's not happy. But hey, there he is. Not a giant, but. I'm pretty happy that I caught a fish today, and that's one of them. So hopefully we can catch some more. All right, dude, let's get the release here. Later, Tater. And he's swimming downstream that way. Arrive. He's not going up ahead of me. That worked out great. Showing you what I'm using right now. There we go. That's a number two blade. That's a 316 ounce lure body. That's a, just a little couple, that's a gold bead right there and a copper bead right there. And that's like a number six master zoo hook. I have some uh, size swash hooks coming for a nice size six, but I haven't got them yet. So, but for now I'm using this guy and this guy, you know, works pretty good. So I'm gonna just keep on trying them. See if we can catch another one or do we have to go somewhere else? I think we're gonna end up going somewhere else, but that's okay too. So we just wade slowly and not make a lot of noise. We might be able to make it up around this corner here and actually kind of get on more fish. I can get closer to the bank off this one side, maybe. We might actually catch another one. It would be nice to catch a couple more little brown trout. Or one giant one would be even better, but I'm not expecting that where I'm at right here. Oh, well, something big just swam up from behind this grip ball. So yeah, when I walked up here a minute ago, I got up to this point right here, and right here, right where this log is, there was a giant fish hit right there and it swam out. I didn't swim out fast, kind of slow, slow enough for you to see it. And it had to be about 16 inches. He's over there somewhere right now, and I guarantee he ain't gonna bite on anything at all that I'm throwing, but he's up in here somewhere. I'm thinking he's kind of over there by those rocks, just kind of hovering, because he was just sitting there. I'm surprised. That was a big fish to be sitting just right there like that. Must be a good feeding spot. I'll probably catch a bunch of his little brothers and that's it. Up in the single hook, it is the way to go. Well, 
fish on, fish on. Hopefully I get to catch this guy. Look at the size of this dude. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm trying to do it with the camera where it is. I wish I had my head cam, but wow. Nice one here. Check out this brown trout, guys. Woo Hope I can get him in the net. Get in the net, treble head. All right, woo -hoo. Two fish. So far, two. Check this guy out. Hey, he pretty. Look at him. Wow, he's just so nice. All right, dude, we're gonna get you free. See where he's hooked at too? Right in the top lip. Barely hooked in there, but he's hooked secure enough that he's not gonna come free. But that's cool because now the release is gonna be really good. My hands are wet. I get them down here and get them nice and sopping wet so I can handle them. But yeah, here's the here's the hook and there's the setup. Anyways, check it out. That little single hook is barely hooked in the top of the lip. And that thing is just like totally caught. All right, guys, we're gonna get this guy free here quick. Super fast, send him on his way. Check it out, man. That is a nice sized fish right there. That is a beauty. Fantastic, look at that. All right, we'll get you free. There's a release. Catch you later, alligator. That was fun. Well, you know what I keep forgetting to do? I have a measuring tape on the back of my fishing pole right here. It tells me how long that fish is. And like, I keep forgetting to take the fish and flip them over and do it. I just try to get them in the water as quick as possible nowadays. <sighs> I don't know, I'll start promising to start measuring them a little bit more and showing you a little bit more of what I'm getting. That one there had to be at least 14 inches. It wasn't anything massive, but it was pretty good. Time you get around a little corner, you just gotta go really slow and watch through this current very, very softly. Try not to be screaming, that's a good thing too, you know? I know, I get excited when I catch a fish, but... Fish on again! Oh, he threw it, you stupid thing. That's he's swimming right at me. Well, that was a tanker. That's what I needed to do, throw this guy on. All right, try that again. Get right up there off that little bank. Come down off those rocks right there. 2,000 years later. Twenty minutes later. All right, we have some storms coming towards us. And the sirens are going off for tornadoes. I'm way out in the country. And tornadoes, they do hit out here in this area quite a bit. So we have to get on my phone real quick and figure out what's going on here. All right, there's me and that little dot. And all this is coming right at us. And that's why I guess there must be red going on. We'll hit the little play button. We'll see what it's doing. Maybe it'll avoid us a little bit and I can, cause I've seen misty rain most of the day today. But if it's passing by and not coming over here, then I'm fine. But if that red stuff's coming over this way, which it looks like it might be, eh, it's, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Yeah, it could be coming here. So I guess I gotta get out of here. Ah, there goes my day. So hey, what do you think of this spot right here? This spot's pretty brutal. I'm on a straight up on a hill and i figured there's like hardly any wind so this would be the great spot to do the outro i don't know you heard it the sirens were going off maybe you didn't hear it maybe the wind was coming out too much but there's a big blob of red severe weather coming right at us right now so i have to get my stuff together and get out of here because what's going to happen i'm going to hike up in there i'll find some place to hide you know because you know there's a lot of cliffs and stuff up in there what's going to end up happening i come, I come back and my truck's going to be like three counties away and i'm not going to be able to find it so it's not going to be good. So I think the best thing for me to do is just kind of get out of here before the hail comes and starts altering and stuff. Who knows what's going to happen. It's kind of cold right now, and it's also kind of warm, so it means severe storms. Uh, what are you going to do? Well, I caught a couple of fish. I hit some public access. I didn't have a lot of time. I just had to kind of get out for a couple hours. My wife's been sick. You know, she had some oral surgery, and I'm, she, you know, took a nap and said go take off and go fishing for a couple hours and then when you get back you know I'll still be here well of course you know so I went to the store picked up some yogurt for her went to the house gave it to her and shout out to the stream for a couple hours of fun and that's what I had I had a blast the first part kind of stink because you know public access it's just there's all the lunker busters and all the good stuff in there and you see fish but these fish are so spooked all the time they're like fishing in an aquarium when you're walking up there just going everywhere they don't know what the heck they want to do because there's so many people walking through there that they're just getting crazed out all the time so and they, they're so psychotic and nuts on there but once you get into the public out of the public access and into the private areas that's where you catch a fish and i caught a couple of nice ones off that little spinner so i'm happy two fish hey it's not a giant video but hey it's a video for me i gotta get out of here because of the severe weather's coming i don't want to get stuck in it 
but thank you for tuning in and the head playlist. And I'll talk to you on the next episode. Thank you. Stopping by. Later, Tater. Uh...